create a dashboard, click the My Top Navigation menu option and select the Dashboard Manager. This will open the My Dashboard Manager screen. Click the Add New Dashboard link in the right-hand menu of the screen to create a new dashboard. This will open the Manage My Dashboard screen where you can enter the name of the dashboard, a brief description of the dashboard, which is optional, and whether the dashboard will be your default. If the Is Default option is set to True, the next time you log in to your Contract Insight application, the first screen you will see will be this dashboard instead of the default My Calendar screen. Only one dashboard can be set to True for Is Default at a time. Next, choose how you would like your dashboard layout to be set up. If you would like your dashboard to have two columns, select the width for each column. Note that the sum of the two widths must equal 98. If you would like both columns to be of equal widths, you can leave the width boxes blank. Another option for the dashboard layout is to have one main column, in which case you should enter 98 into the left column width box and enter 0 for the right column width. When you have finished entering the required information, click the Save Dashboard link in the right-hand menu of the screen. Now that you have created a dashboard, you need to add content, or docs, to the dashboard. Go to the My Dashboard screen, either by clicking the My Top Navigation menu and then selecting Dashboards from the sub-menu, or by clicking the My Dashboards link in the right-hand menu of the My Dashboard Manager screen. Select the drop-down menu to select the dashboard that you would like to add a doc to. If you only have one dashboard, it will al already be shown in the drop-down menu. Click the Add New Doc link. This will open the Add Dashboard Doc screen where you can enter the name you would like to assign for this doc and select the type of content you would like in this doc from the Doc Type drop-down menu. For example, you can add your My Calendar view into a doc or you can add an ad hoc report and select the name of the ad hoc report from a second drop-down menu that will appear upon selecting the Ad Hoc Report or Search option. Select the column you would like this doc to appear in. Note that if you have a single column dashboard, you can only select that column. When you have chosen all necessary options, click the Save Doc link in the right-hand menu. Next, click the My Dashboards link to view the doc you have just added. This concludes the Dashboards tutorial.